show and the iconic Shibuya Crossing, one of the busiest intersections in the world. You know, it seems like just yesterday, you and I were watching the closing ceremony at the Rio Games, and when that official handover took place, we thought to ourselves, we can't wait till Tokyo 2020. And do you remember that moment where the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe popped up dressed as Super Mario? Oh yeah, I remember. Well, Coy, how about this for a ride? Man, what a better way to explore this city than Tokyo's iconic Mari Kart. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, but the yeah, baby! Nippon Budokan, hiya! <laughs> The Olympics are just around the corner. Some of the venues are ready to go. Yep, this is the Nippon Budokan, most famous these days as a music venue where the likes of the Beatles and Bob Dylan have performed. And it translates to Japan Martial Arts Hall. That's what it was used for back in 1964, the first time Tokyo hosted the Summer Games. This time it'll be home to judo and for the first time ever in the Olympics, karate. with the old and in with the new. The Olympic Stadium is being built on the same site as the first one, which was built in 1958. There have been some design changes because of rising costs, which mean construction has been delayed, but it's expected to be still done well ahead of time. This is where there'll be long jumping, high jumping, triple jumping, shot putting, pole vaulting, and the fastest men and women in the world will look to become the new Usain Bolt. Yeah, Tokyo 2020 will be the first Olympics since 2004. We won't see the Jamaican and the starting blocks. This has to be one of the most picturesque locations in Tokyo, the beautiful Imperial Palace Gardens, perfect for a Sunday stroll. But all this beauty is going to look like a blur to those Olympic speed walkers who will be zooming right past the home of the Emperor of Japan. Amanda, that was fun. But for our last venue, I have a friend I met the last time I was in Japan. <laughs> This is my new friend and tour guide for the evening, Manabu Kanda. He has a ride like no other. Ooh, wow. It's Olympic gold. Perfect for 2020. Do I get to go in the front? Guest of honor. Ah. Let's go. to the Adaiba waterfront, the last stop on our tour and set to play host to the marathon swimming and triathlon next year. We've certainly ridden in style on our tour of the venues, but come next year at Tokyo 2020, we're set to see driverless cars. Incredible, the future is here. In addition to karate, these games will feature new sports like climbing, surfing, and skateboarding. We'll also see the return of baseball and softball too. I can't wait. We will see you back here very soon. I'm Amanda Davis. And I'm Koi Wire for CNN in Tokyo, Japan. Sayonara.